Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about the Maker Pen. As you guys can tell, the Maker Pen has actually had new updates before, but this one is actually way more different than anything else. As we can see here, there's now a new, like, like it, it just looks like the home menu, but everything different now. Now, what's the difference, like, of the old previous menu and this menu one it does kind of look complicated you do have the ink and the cpu and the net and the chip instead up here you got undo and redo right here edit and when you want to edit an object and use one of these tools so have off surface grid you know your snapping your world space and your show gadgets over here this is the settings that you used to have the little gear button but now it's up on the little configure tab right next to the tools under the tools menu now as we can see here now the first part is that there's actually a configure button now what's this configure button well it's the same here i don't understand this a lot but when you press configure here you can also just select the button, you know, just like select this dresser right here if it was a skinned and then, you know, configure it. So it's kind of just like a simple way to just configure here and configure here. I don't really see the best use for it, but it's it's rec room. I can't say much. Then you got your palette over here. You know, this is where your shapes are. This is your tube. This is your cube. This is your sphere. This is cylinder. Make sure that you have create on if you want to create anything. And also you got swatches now what swatches is is that instead of actually change or re always recoloring it and stuff now you can change the size of uh the material you could say i want to make a pineapple mm, sh mm, uh checkered checkered linoleum uh what else tube say i want to do that now it's going to be a checkered linoleum tube. That's pretty cool. I think that's kind of pretty. Yeah, okay, you could basically start creating like a little bit of these tubes by and also changing the material and the ne or sorry, the color and then the material. That's actually pretty sick because you kind of just go down the list and then you start creating. You also got props on this tab as well. You know, you got AC unit, you got your creative, you got dynamic, you got furniture. Now you got inventions in this tab. And this is like, you know, that's in the store right now. That's trending, mostly dorm skin. This is all your inventions that you saved. This is your published inventions that you saved. And then this is your downloaded features you saved. Oh, this is the ones you created. This is the ones you published. And these are the ones you downloaded. And I'm not going to lie, this actually looks pretty sick. I like it. We also have Circuits V2 and Circuits V1 up here. And, you know, if you're oldie, you got Circuits V1, like I just said, and Circuits V2. And all your, well, circuits, I guess. You can. Now, after using that, there's also this logging tab, which I really don't know what this is. I think this is more for gadgeteers, so gadgeteers have fun with this one. And you also got this room. It opens your watch, and it makes sure that you go to your room settings. You know, say room settings and all that stuff. You know, and yeah. And you probably notice that there's this little, little, like, thing here. And what it is, is that when you press it, you have a little tab right here, and you can move it around like the old. Instead of gr trying to grab it, you can be all the way over here and just... And that is actually pretty sick. I think that's cool. You can do it with the tools. You can do that. And it says, do you want to reset? Do you want to... This is in tear off mode. Reset to restore and tab. You know, move it around. Like say, okay, you want to check your circuits. But you also want to edit. You want to make more inventions or something. Then you, And then, yeah. You can press reset to get rid of them. I don't know anything here. Circuiteers, gadgeteers. You guys are going to have fun with that one. I can change it. Now, the last part... That I actually love about this is that you can start transforming. Now, what transforming does, it's that you can scale, you can rotate, and you can move all at once. And I'm not gonna lie, this is probably the best like option to build with because now you have move right here, rotate, and scale individually, but transform has all these three in one, and that's pretty sick. I like that. So, and then if I press this, and I'm like, okay, I want to rotate this, like, right there. And then I want to rotate to the side, and then I want to make sure it's, like, facing me so I can see through the hole. 
hello and then I want to say mm, let's get it bigger so people could see me that's pretty sick and you can't tell me no okay I forgot to put in decoration over that's funny but besides that that's pretty much it for the maker pen uh kind of just showing you guys the basics of it like just stuff like that I don't know not know anything about the debugging or whatever it was called screen but I know that gadgeteers would love to learn by themselves to figure that out. But besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe for more updates, gameplays, funny moments. It's, I don't know by this point. But besides that, peace.